So this year they replaced the double tap touch pass mechanic with the double tap pump fake mechanic. And you know, they added some pump fake abilities and all that. And I don't think many people have seen so far where that actually fits in to this game, how it actually works. Uh, and how we can get some of those zone coverages to bite down a little bit. Uh, I know a lot of people have been kind of using it to play with the user defender a little bit. So if there's, you know, maybe a high-low read or, you know, you're throwing a seamer to the left or to the right, you're using the pump fake to move the user defender a little bit. Um, doesn't always work out, but sometimes you can, you know, make over-aggressive users move, move a little bit and open up some other routes. Um, but for the most part, in terms of AI defenders, I don't think many people have been using it. Uh, the one place that I've seen it work out is actually deep thirds and deep quarters on the outside. So just on the left here, I'm coming up against, you know, cover forward drop. I got a fade route from T.Y. Hilton over here on the left. And what I can do is I can pump fake that guy out of his socks. <laughs> and then, you know, get 10 yards separation, and get an easy one play score that way. So what I did there, and just ignore the first pump fake actually, that one's just an auto pump fake just because of the play I picked, it's for the double moves on the inside here. Uh, but what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be pump faking, so just double tap press the wide receiver uh, between five and 10 yards, I think is best. So just between five and 10 yards, and then I'll just you know lob it there, rack catch that, and you know get my easy score that way. So really good cover four, cover three beater. And then this will work against cover three as well. So I can show you guys that. Pump fake him, lob that, and again, you know, just get the same exact outcome as I just did before. So now don't get your hopes up <laughs> too much or don't get too worried because there are a lot of situations where this doesn't work out. So number one, the reason why I picked this play is because it has these fade routes, you know, the old hot route fade routes from last year and the year before and the prior years. If I were to just use a, a streak, there's a really good chance that he's just gonna bump into the corner and then that'll just kind of throw everything off. You know, sometimes he still wins and sometimes he'll even get bumped and still beat him from there. Uh, but it's just something you can't really rely on too much. So I'll just kind of show it here. Yeah, see, in that case, he just bumps into him. There's nothing you can really do. Um, so you can't really rely on it in that case. But again, if I'm using the fade here, and by the way, you know, it has nothing to do with ratings. It has nothing to do with the rating at the corner. The quarterback doesn't have anything to do with that pump fake ability or the wide receiver simply just this route i mean you don't want somebody super super slow like the the matchup i have on the right here funches and, and uh, gilmore he'll win but you know the guy can just still catch up and i don't think that's a good fade route anyway it's a little bit too far to the sideline uh the one on the left here with ty is much much better again you're always getting at least you know 10 yards eh, at least five yards of separation sometimes i've seen 10 to 15 yards of separation so really really nice there now the reason why, again, this isn't something that you'll use too much. First of all, you know, you, you really need this fade route, this nice fade route, but there's a lot of situations where it doesn't work. Okay, so man coverage, you know, man coverage is what you see a lot in this game. It's not gonna work. You know, maybe there's some alternate version of this where it does work, but from what I've seen, pump fakes don't work against man coverage at all. Uh, back to the zones here. If I do any adjustments in terms of shading, you know, shading up, shading down, shading whatever, even protecting the sticks, it doesn't actually do anything. So it'll still work out. So just like that. So any sort of shading, it'll still work. However, you know, if they start to do deep halves, which I don't think a lot of people do in cover four, but you know, in say, Cover three, a lot of people that are protecting against some of those one play cover three beaters will be using deep halves here instead. So if I go ahead and try to pump fake that, he just stays home, I have nothing there, and it'll likely get picked off. Yeah, so against deep halves, it's not gonna work out. The other thing is, again, a lot of these better players, even if they are running cover four drop or cover three, you know, they're really aggressive and they're running things like press coverage or show blitz or whatever. And uh, in this case, though, I have seen it work out, I think. Um, you know, you can't, yeah, in this case, it kind of worked out. But it's, it's also very inconsistent if they're pressing uh, to get that animation. You kind of have to do it really at the perfect timing. And it doesn't just need to be cover three or cover four spot drop. It'll work against cover four quarters and cover four palms as well. I actually don't know why I'm showing this to you guys because I love running cover four so much. So this is going to be a you know, an easy way to take me down. But in that case, actually bumps into him. Because T.Y. has a bit of speed, he still ends up winning, but 
you know, didn't work out as well. That's something I should know, you know, just, just because you find that fade route uh, doesn't mean it's going to work out automatically for you. Uh, some of the alignments, you know, if, if he has maybe a compressed alignment, maybe it won't work out as well. Uh, just something you're going to have to, you know, hop into practice mode and check it out, see if your formation and your fade route works out. Um, because I can't guarantee that a lot of them will. Other ones, I think maybe it was a trip set I was looking at uh, where I was running the strong side wide receiver. Um, and then the defense was shaded. So it was like a cover three shade uh, over the top or something like that. And in that case, it didn't work out. So again, take it to practice mode, see if it works out for you because you know some formations, it won't work out in some situations. <laughs> um, the other thing is... Uh, yeah, so it's going to work out against cover four match, cover four drop, cover three, cover three match, uh, deep halves, and man coverage. It won't work out. And the other thing is, you know, the nice little adjustment to cover three that I showed you guys a couple videos ago. Uh, it's not going to work out there because just because of the alignment of this deep third and this cloud flag kind of gets in the way too. So that's another nice way of stopping it if you're coming up against it. So. I'll try to pump fake here, but you know, there's just nothing really that you can do because it's not going to affect the cloud flat. Okay, that's it, guys. Uh, use that to your advantage. Again, you know, you're not going to be seeing too much, just regular cover three and cover four. Uh, but if you do, and if you have this in your playbook, definitely go use it because it's going to help you out for sure. Okay, that's it for this one, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one.